Here's an update on the cottage. He's got the roof on yesterday. And I asked Tammy about this because it's a really nice size and it's really well built. And I asked her about like the cost of something like this. Um, I think she's got materials and labor somewhere around 1200 something like that. Um, but it's probably more realistic. It's probably like 15 I don't know. Those, those metal sheets are $30 a piece, just so you know. 30 I was like, whoa. But uh, this thing is going to get tested. It's going to be lab tested uh, on Saturday with 40 mile an hour winds. Yeah, 40 mile an hour winds. I had to interrupt my editing for a dawn delivery. Look at that. Those beautiful pallets. Is that in focus? I don't think it is. Oh, it's blowing. It's 40 to 50 mile an hour today. That's exciting. But I'm sure Tammy's not doing well either with this weather. It's raining and windy. It doesn't stop these Arizonians. Santa's here. I gotta go. I don't think, I don't know if there's anything in there for me. I've been bad. I've been really bad. Wow. Wow, that was really cool. I don't know why, just, I love it. Efficiency. I, I love it. You're the palette prince? <laughs> Not yet. I'd help you, but I hurt myself yesterday. You do or he does? There's a shovel. I was just coming in here. Hold on, I gotta help some, I gotta help Don. So they took a load of trash out yesterday. So I can come back here and give you guys a better before sense of space. It's large. Nice, scary and large. Nice wide opening, huh? Nice space above there. I'm also documenting this just for her. So she has a record of it. She gets packages every day. Okay, that's squeaking. I gotta go. Not too much damage out here. Rainwater. And there's the new one I got yesterday. I should have just opened that up and put it on the other side of the RV where it would have run off for the plants. And this blew off, but this is just outdoor stuff and burn pile. So, and I heard this actually dinging, donging, ding-donging in the middle of the night. All right. Ooh. These flowers look really... Oh, look at that. Holy. Knocked them over. Let's get them out of here in the sun.
Yeah, it blew last night. Look at those flowers. They just gave in. They gave up. Well, this has a nice little depth to it. Not warm yet. Not quite deep enough either to take a bath, but this thing is, I think, I don't know if I've ever tried to get in it. I think I did. I'm going to walk down and see if I can see any uh, patterns on the land for the waterfall. Whoa, watch out, dude. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for taking the time to put those stones in there. That is a deep pool of water. I almost did make it through that one video you can see. And this is double, triple the water. My office is still here, all safe and sound. I have never seen these eggs before. Heritage breed eggs. I've bought happy eggs before. But these free range blue and brown, they were on sale a dollar off. They were still very expensive. And they were like still $6.99, but look! Look at that. Look at that one. That's got some scrape marks on it. Some scrape marks. <laughs> that that one. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna have breakfast. They are they taste different. The yolk is huge. Um, the whites have a different texture. It's very interesting. If you can afford to splurge on quality eggs. I would really recommend it. Just eat less. 